Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to use Cocos Code IDE version 2 to run an application on an Android device. So what you want to do is just go to your project directory. So you can just do it this way, reveal in Finder. Then go to Runtime, go to Android, and this pre-built Runtime js.apk which is there by default you want to install that on your device wherever that's by USB over Wi-Fi however once you've got that installed uh, you want to launch that and on the actual device itself you get an IP address so if you just go to edit configuration we'll set the IP address in a moment click plus JS binding for Cocoa Studio JS and Lua binding for the Lua version so I'll go to JavaScript project go to remote debugging Android and then put in your target IP so I'm just going to show you my Android device so as you can see I've got an Android device and it says 192.168.0.18 I'll just click the test button the connection is successful if I just put the number 5 there and try it it's going to wait a while and then it's going to give me an error taking a little longer than expected to give the error that I was expecting there we go so we got the error which basically states that this isn't a valid IP address just get rid of the 5 and if we just click test again connection is successful click OK and now we can literally just click the play button and it runs on our device so this is actually using Wi-Fi even though my phone is connected so you're gonna wanna make sure your phone or your Android device and your computer whether that's an, a Mac or a Windows machine is on Wi-Fi so the process is the same for Windows as well so the button next to it which is debug allows you to set breakpoints and by setting breakpoints you can basically debug your application see what's going wrong see with the status of variables at certain points of your application so that's the difference and wireless doing it wirelessly via the IP address works as well bunch of connection is successfully coming up because I've pressed this so many times so that's basically it for re running a application from Cocos Code ID version 2 on an Android device if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there will be a link in the description to that please rate and subscribe as it does really help to keep this content free and as usual Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.